Hey everybody, it's me, Mr. Night Spider, and today I'm bringing you another Marvel Select, aka Diamond Select unboxing. As you can see here, we have Anti Venom. As well, I ain't gonna lie, I kind of have, I'm kind of a sucker for symbiote, so um, there's probably two or three more of these things lined up, which I'm pretty stoked about. So as you can see here, this is Eddie Brock. Um, he's still the host of a symbiote um, to my knowledge if I recall that he after losing the symbiote the original alien symbiote that spider-man had and he got and he was venom um, some remnants of the alien was in his bloodstream uh, he went through some type of radiation and cancer thing and then one day when the symbiote tried to rebond with him this new symbiote the anti-venom emerged from his bloodstream so that's more or less the gist of it um he kind of was a uh, going on as a good guy and then eventually made his way back to a villain if you will but anyway you can see here here's the packaging and if you look to the side here we have a nice little uh comic version of him on the back and on the back we have another image of him and then they have Wolverine and it looks like Captain Marvel displayed and if you can read the verbiage there let's see if I could get that to focus in there you go read 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 it's good for you good for you so now that we've kind of got the rough hit and, and I got a killer deal for this thing 15 bucks. Oh, yeah. This one's not, t doesn't tend to be super, super popular among a lot of people, but you know what? I like it. Um, I think it's a very cool mold, very cool design. Uh, way cooler than the, the Marvel Legends version, but that's, that's, I'll put some pictures of that comparison on my, uh, on my Instagram if you want to take a look. But anyway, let's open this guy up. Let's get him unboxed and packaged and see what accessories he comes with and take a better look at its articulation and sculpt. All right, and here we have anti-venom or anti-venom, however you want to say it, outside of the package. I got to say, um, it is impressive looking. I like how you have how the stand kind of has his uh, the symbiote still going through underneath the gravel and stuff. Real, real sense of like uh, power. Um, but let's let's really break this down and take a look at it piece by piece. Okay, so I think it's cool that it came with a stand. Oops. I'm going to put him aside. We'll get back to him later, but I do want to talk about the stand first. Um, these pieces here connect. So you have some um, you have some paint on there. You can see how they painted the gravel and got some detail onto there, some piping. Um, you have some like uh, looks like some bricks. Uh, same thing across here. And then I don't know if it's supposed to be some of his like uh, tendrils or whatever going on. So it's cool. A lot of detail went to the paint there. Um, just a basic base. Uh, these portions, the extensions of the symbiote, they actually connect onto portions of the base. Um, and they just kind of click right in there. I wouldn't say click, but they do have a uh, like some, um, some little bumps there, some grooves that uh, hold that pieces in place my only issue is this one that goes on the side um, is very very loose it just kind of falls out over there so that's kind of a bummer maybe i'll super glue it or something i don't know um well, let's take a look at the figure itself so let's look at the head first i gotta say that that sculpt is so legit. I mean, the the Marvel. I'm gonna put pictures up up on my Instagram, but the Marvel Legends just can't compare to the detail you get on there. So you have left and right rotation, or your left or my right, however you see it. Um, the way its chin is, kind of, you can't get all the way down. Um, there is like a like a hinge in there, but it's really hard to get it down. And that's probably due to the mold and how everything is pretty, pretty tightly connected. Um, the arm, you have a full 360 degree rotation. There's no any type of bicep swivel. You have a, a single joint 
on the elbow. And mine's still kind of really stiff, but it's there. Um, be mindful with this guy. These prickly things, like, are really sharp. Like, legit. They're really painful. So be careful. Um, the wrist itself... Yeah, it's just got wrist rotation. But mine's pretty stiff. And once you... Uh, play with it a little more usually it loosens up and you'll be able to get some more poses out of it but um, still single joint on that elbow once again 360 degree rotation on the his right or left depending what you're looking at um, there's no ab crunch of any type it's like a solid piece there um, but you do have a waist swivel and that can go 360 degrees um, you have like a ball joint here which is different I haven't seen them do this in I don't know, I've brought a, a couple legends so far, and I haven't seen a, a hip joint done this way. Usually they have like a, like a, well, I can't think of the name, it's like a pivot in there, and you can go left or right, but they have a ball joint in there, and then you have an upper thigh rotation, and then you have another single joint on the knee. Um, you have a, a hinge on the ankle, but there's no rocker on it. So that's probably why you have the base with it, is due to the fact that um, the articulation is limited on here, but, 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 but this character, the, the actual, the sculpt and the paint and the design is just like second to none. I mean, look at the hands that is so menacing and you have little like tendrils or parts of the symbiotes poking up here and there. And it looks, I mean, it is sharp, but you got a sense of texture and you have some grays and whites mixed in. And then you have the black round, which is part of the, the, the symbiotes like look or outfit, if you will. And then you still have those, uh, those sharp, rigid parts going all over the back, all across the back, on the head, on the shoulders and all the way through. So you really can't go wrong as far as sculpt and color and deco. You know, it looks really good and they translate all the way down. Um, even on the back of the calves, you have paint, you have that, that gray, that white, and you still have the detail going into it. So actually I'm, I'm fairly impressed with this whole setup here. Um, this is an older one, so you're not getting the same, um, uh, articulation you do on some of the newer ones like Venom and the Carnage, but with the base, I gotta say, I'm pretty happy. Just plug them in there, get them in a nice little stance, and you're going to have him smashing on Spider-Man. So, that's basically my review and unboxing of the uh, Marvel Select uh, Anti-Venom. As you can see here, um, it's it's not necessarily for everyone. If you're if you're the type of collector where you're real big on posing and articulation, this may not be for you. Um, the Marvel Legends may be the better way to go. But if you are more concerned about the sculpt and uh, having that that depth to the character and the way it looks and the way it feels, and having you know, if you're good with having a stand base for it, this is right up your alley. I mean. I'm not even mad that he doesn't have the same articulation some of the other Marvel Select and Legends have. So, I like once again, this is an older one. But, uh, yeah, if you have this figure, tell me your thoughts on it. Share your experiences. If you do toy photography, tell us, you know, post some of your pictures if you can. That'd be cool to see. Um, and thank you all for watching. Once again, this is the Night Spider Collector. I'm Mr. Night Spider. Please comment, rate, favorite, and, favorite and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Peace.